happens to be doing a film. Okay. The content of which is about uh, the effect on a family of, of addiction. Oh, fantastic. Great. Yeah, about um, excuses, denials. So what we want to do, you know, Eric's a big rehearser. He loves to rehearse. I love okay. rehearsing. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, he's from theater. So what we're going to do. Oh, great. Is bring you through the scene, you playing his son, and um, and just kind of demonstrate because coaching has become one of the things we love to do. Right next to acting, okay, and directing. It's something we really love. Do you love it? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, this is your interview. Um, so, <laughs> so we are going to rehearse this scene as if both of you guys are playing these roles. Okay. And, um, give you some of our techniques because coaching for acting always crosses over into life coaching and even therapy. Yeah. You'll find that, that a couple of acting techniques work so great about your life. It'll blow your mind like repetition. By the way, I use a lot of acting. I've used acting techniques with patients and, and addicts all the time. Yeah, that does not surprise me. You know the Sandy Meisner technique of- um, I've heard of it. Okay. I'm not sure what it is. It, it, um, it demonstrates the fact that acting is listening. Let's, let's show them what, what repetition is. I'll be you, you be Kate. Okay, so let's for see. a second, I'll just take your role and you'll, you'll see, okay? Okay, you can demonstrate, okay. You're desperate? I told you the last time, it was the last time. The last time? What am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Get cleaned up. Cleaned up? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, and, and then what, huh? Who's gonna hire me? No one's hiring me. We're in a pandemic. There are no jobs. There are no jobs? Not my problem. Okay, so now we've done it with- And I would say like, not my problem. I'm your son. Right. Because what it does is, when, when you repeat it in your head, it makes the response completely per natural, honest. And it works every time for anybody. It's like magic. And it and it works every time. So let's try it. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Ready? And yeah. with repetitions, action. Son, you need help. I need help. I'm fine, Dad. I just need some money and a job. I need money and a job. Money and a job. Can you help me, please? 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 I can't. I won't. So you won't? I'm desperate, Dad. You're desperate? I told you the last time. It was the last time. It was the last time? So what am I supposed to do? Okay, how did that, nice. yeah, how did that feel to you? It felt good. <laughs> Yeah, like it, like it's almost it like you up. it's almost like a lifeline to truth, the repetition, and I don't know why. I can't explain why. I just know it does work. Okay. Can can you explain why it works? Well, first let me ask you, why do you think it works? I think what it, it did for me is it takes me out of thinking, it gets me out of my head, and it gets me into my gut. And I know I have to respond right away. So instead of thinking about what I'm going to say, I'm listening more to Eric in the moment uh -huh. and trying to hear what he has to say. And then I think what happened to me is when I repeat it, I sort of validate Eric's thought. Like I almost have to regurgitate it in my head and then I go to my response. Right. That's exactly Does that right. make sense? Yeah, it's interesting because after you repeat it, you almost forget what you were supposed to say. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. I saw myself going back to the script, going, what, what? I got so into the moment. Yes. Because I don't know the line. Like I had to. Then it's working. Then it's working. That means it's working. Yeah, yeah. that's that. That's really good. You know, I, I just want to, you know, I think that technique is so great too, because especially for addicts, a lot of times, like today I had a patient and I can't get him to talk. So I told him to just keep, he was so depressed, just keep talking. Like I wanted, I literally said, I want you to talk for three minutes straight. I don't care what you say. Wow. And it was just a way of to try to get past his resistance into something that was going on inside. 
How did it go with him after that? It went much better because even though, you know, he kept wanting to stop, I think it was his way of not wanting to deal with the reality of his addiction. Words are what we often use yeah. to um, hide behind, not to express, but to yeah. hide what we are trying desperately not to express. Right? And, you know, especially for addicts, it's so difficult because you're trying to get past their defense mechanisms and they're so rigid. And a lot of times, uh, I almost want to use the word, they're so dead to what's going on. Their private intimate relationships are with the drug. They aren't with anything else. Hmm. I mean, they, they've cut everything else off. Yeah, I know. I agree completely. And, and it's that attachment. And that's what's great is that this allows someone to attach to something other than their drug. You know, you're at a really great place right now. Let's read this piece again. Let's read this piece again. You want, to sure. that, me as you and you as Casey. The same Meisner technique thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Son, you need help. I need help. I'm fine, Dad. I just need some money and a job. Money and a job. Money and a job. Can you help me, please? Please? Please. Please. I can't and I won't. You won't? I'm desperate, Dad. You're desperate. I told you last time that it was the last time. It was the last time? What am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Get cleaned up. Get cleaned up? I don't know what you're talking about. And then what, huh? Who's going to hire me? No one is hiring. We're in a pandemic. There are no jobs. There are no jobs? That's not my problem. Not your problem. I'm your son. You're my son? No, you're not. You are an embarrassment. I'm an embarrassment. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're an embarrassment. And I have to get back to work. Please get help. Get help? Whatever. Yeah, you're just a gardener. I'm just a gardener. It's honest work and honest pay. <laughs> At honest pay? Keep telling yourself that. At least I tried to do something with my life, like go to college, but then I had to take care of mama because you weren't anywhere to be seen. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I'm sorry, will you please forgive me? Yeah, great. You were so relaxed then, and there was some kind of confidence that I didn't see in the first run through. You, you, were, you were confident about what you were doing, and it was very relaxed, and it was very uh, un, unreading. It was good, dude. I just want to point that out to you. Thank you. Yeah, I, th I think you, you hit something. Do I get the part? <laughs> <laughs>